Hello. Welcome to Hashtag Justice for HC. If that team even exists anymore. <clears throat> My ah, pretty sure they don't. Yeah, and the there's we'll people live on. around me. All around. Boom. Halcyon City will always need justice. And the name of this adventure is... Okay, it's been about a week. That was it. That's the name of the adventure. That's the name of the adventure. <laughs> Interesting. We're the ones that survived the Infinity War. The name of the adventure is Silence. Ooh. Ooh. That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite sound, yeah. Yeah. All right. It's my favorite sound. Buffy episode. I like it. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. So it's been about a week. I'm not actually sure who's talking to who right now. <laughs> there is no more talking. You will notice I have updated Saber to Arclight. So I'm going to admit this is going to be kind of a light adventure for me. Because people have things to work out. Do we? Do we? <laughs> what? Yes. Last I checked, everything was going fine. Uh-huh. Last I checked, Imperion is not on the team anymore? He never actually said was, that. I thought He's it was Drake who was off the team. Oh, is that what's going on? Yeah, I thought Drake was kicked off the team. So, oh, Well, I certainly never kicked him off. Well, you know, I haven't gotten the memo that I wasn't. That's not how that works. Oh, God. So, <laughs> you keep showing up at team meetings. Awkward. There's not a memo to tell you that you're not kicked off. <laughs> should we tell him? <laughs> I thought we should tell him, but do, should we tell him? I thought, be, I, thought I thought he'd figure it out, but... <laughs> um, I mean, Drake ain't talking to nobody right now. Nobody. <laughs> But I was cool with you. So oh talking, no, we we're cool. Talking to but, everyone. But but your friend, your 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 friends with Imperion and ArcLight, who are mad at me currently, and so I don't want to put you in that position. So I'm not. I'm talking. friends with ArcLight. When did, when did I get mad at you? Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> People have just made up things now. <laughs> Imperion is specious. So. I'm, I'm I'm a teenager, so of course I'm making. <laughs> yeah, that's that seems that seems legit. You're muted, I think, Uncle Jimmy. I am. I was just waiting. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, nobody from HR has called and asked you to turn in your badge, so, you know. Oh, we Simon need your Chow, badge and your keys. Hmm? Oh. These nice people are going to escort you out. <laughs> you mean all the little... Uh, all the, all the little junkyards. All the junkyards, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're going to help you clean your desk and get yep. your car. Here's, here's your box. <laughs> well, he can't go back to his desk. Right. Exactly. That's not how that works. Because he might cause him a, you know, right. might cause a scene. <laughs> might cause a scene, right. And a, hey, super, powered, and a super powered person yeah. will cause quite a scene. I take that back. I meant to say balance. I apologize. Oh, yeah, yes. so It's so similar. Right. Yeah. They're, they're, I mean, as people and powers. <laughs> About a day ago, you'd got a letter. A letter? In the mail? Like one of those old people paper things? Big, thick one. You've never even oh seen my one God. before. You're like, is Inside this, of it? Read about them in class. You find a map and keys. Is there an X on the map? Yeah, yeah, there's a location. Is this a treasure map? There's a pirate adventure. Can you invite <laughs> me? Awesome. Of course. We're going to have to go in an escape room. This is great. <laughs> Mm hmm. Hmm. So I'm looking over this map. What um uh, what all you got? It's just got a location. And a location. Okay, well I will inform my team that I have a map. Because they don't have a map and uh they'll be jealous. <laughs> Completely jealous. That's amazing. What's a map? It's one of those uh, analog Google things. 
You have maps. I have Google Maps. This one's just in paper form. Yeah, this is the same thing, except you can't, like, pinch and zoom. I've tried. I don't understand the point. For it, as you look through it, you mm -hmm. find out, the look through it, it's basically from Thunderhammer. Well, cool. And it's a gift to you. Well, awesome. Hmm. Okay. Well, I, I will proceed to that location. Okay. You find kind of like a underdeveloped warehouse area. As you walk into the warehouse, you find kind of a, a street level, low level crime fighting lab base. Oh my God. You see a couple cars. <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy crap. You have a secret base. Oh my God. They have cars that aren't broken. You're really quiet. Oh my God, he has cars that aren't broken down. Yep. These cars have all the wheels on them. <laughs> I didn't know they came like that. <laughs> <laughs> the computer equipment is a couple years out of date. But it does, as you start turning things on, it does have all the typical, you know, stereotypical crime fighting gear. Did you actually bring me or not? <laughs> um... Sure, why not? Okay. Uh, I'll get these computers upgraded. No problem. <laughs> you can't have this subpar stuff in your secret base. I've got a secret base now. Oh, my God. You just nice. can't be happy for him, can you, Arclight? You can't just say... I am totally happy for him. This is amazing. I'm not going to let it ruin it by having subpar computers. I am improving the experience. Hey, you know what you should do with your secret base? What's that? You should turn it into hashtag for justice 4 hc uh, headquarters. No, this is balance a secret base. But this we, is we've got the clubhouse. What? This is his brooding cave. Come this on. This is his fortress of solitude. Right. <laughs> this is where yeah. he comes to get his thoughts in order because he has right. a lot of. Them. I like to talk things out with myself. Right. And I think it's important Ooh. he has a place to do that away from others. <laughs> Isn't that mm. what his trailer is for? No, he has drunk fathers there. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I stay at the clubhouse. He's still alive? Yeah, no. so far. No, his liver hasn't given out. <laughs> and nobody shot him for, uh, you know, debts and that kind of stuff. Has anybody heard from Empyrean in like a week? Yeah, I talked to him the other day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How did that go? Fine. I mean, Is that we, get so? along, we get along. How's his solo career going? He doesn't have a solo career. <laughs> that Wait, all got blown up out of proportion. He said he was leaving the team. He hasn't done it yet. He was just pissed. He hasn't rage quit yet. No. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if it, you know, carries. Anyways, I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, not if he can't be around my people. Look, he didn't mean it that way. <laughs> what did he mean? Because he said, you people... Implying alien people. He was just mad that no one could see or they, they, his interpretation that was we were all kind of hemming and hemming and hawing on how bad the dark bad piece piece of it was, and how bad the part where Drake almost forced somebody to commit suicide was. He just didn't think we understood the gravity of that. That's all. And I used the word gravity in a sentence. Boom. Yes. Be sure to get an A on your report cards. I know, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty sure we're beyond gravity, considering you made a gravity device. Well, but I use it in a sentence. That's different. Right. And yes, I did. I did make a device that alters gravity. <laughs> it's pretty hot. All I'm saying is, I just yes. don't. I know it sounded defensive, but I don't think he meant it that way. 
Well, he refused to apologize, so I think he meant it that way. He refused to apologize for... <sighs> Saying what he said. He didn't feel like... Like I said, he didn't feel like... Uh, we were taking the threat seriously. Well... We are taking the threat seriously. We just didn't want to completely destroy all of Drake's world just so that he could keep his forge. And I think and he understands that part now. But we'll see. Hopefully I can get him in here. Well, well, I'm glad Drake's world's back at least. Maybe he'll, you know, Start talking to us again. Has anyone seen Drake? No. Nope. Uh, he's chilling in his basement. I think he's on a. He's falling out with Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> again. Canadian rapper. Uh, why would I ever do that? Why would I ever let her slip through my fingers? No. Nope. Yeah, oh. that's a good she's not, you really, she's you really not metal should. enough because she's very, very thin. Uh, that's she, true. She is she, that. She is. Yes. <laughs> sort of seems like don't, don't hold her, her too tight. Yeah, <laughs> break her in half. Um, he's just chilling. He seems to think you kicked him off the team or something. I don't know. He thinks you're mad at him for no reason. What? Yeah, I don't know. He's. He's being his usual brooding emo teenage self. Man. Heavy metal, not emo. Thank no, you. it's emo. <laughs> if it was heavy metal, you'd be trying to beat them up. Didn't I already try to do that's that? And that's not how this true. all started. <laughs> there's, a, there's thousands of heavy metal bands in Norway, and they're all nice people. <laughs> it's true. It's true. All right. Well, I guess I better call them up. You're acting as though the Vikings never were from Norway. Right, we're the, talking about heavy metal people, not Vikings. Yeah. There's but, a difference. No, they're modern day Vikings. He's, say, he's saying they were nice people because they're Norwegian. Oh, anyway, you know, I'm saying they're on. nice people because they're Norwegian now and they have a good society. And they're I, I'm not, I don't judge people by the past. Anyway, he's being emo. You might want to go talk to him. I tried to tell him he was still on the team. Wait, he wasn't listening. I think he wants to like get inspiration for a song or something. I don't know. All right, I'll call him up. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Do I get do I get signal in my uh, in my sanctuary? No, not really. Okay. My phone is interdimensional, you sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> is his phone interdimensional? I mean... No, it's interplanetary. Now, see, I don't know that it's interdimensional. Now, the problem is that your phone is not. Oh, oh okay. So it wouldn't make any difference. He can okay. talk to you. You can't reply to him, though. I get zero bars in this dimension? God. <laughs> this dimension sucks. I'm totally complaining. Chris Chris knows what I'm doing, and I'm fully engaged in that. And well, I will attempt to get a hold of Drake. Probably unsuccessfully, it sounds like. Mm-hmm. Unsuccessfully, it sounds like. And then I'll call his mom. Um, he's in the library. Do you guys not get reception in that place? It's in L space. <laughs> it's nowhere. In the library? We get reception in the library, but we don't use our phones in the library. It's a library. <laughs> <laughs> what? I use my phone in the library all the time. <laughs> um, so a dimensional pocket then. Check. Yes. Can I come over? Sure. Am I allowed right. to go into the library? That's kind of up to him. Well, would you check so I don't, you know, blow blow some time I'm coming over when it, it's pointless. See if he's accepting visitors. Yes. Cool. I'll be right over. 
I'm coming with him. I go into my Jetsons car. Make sure you get his keys and his ID tag. <laughs> <laughs> and hand me a box that has my... my, my, my uh, uh, the little potted plant. <laughs> yeah, and the potted plant that Empyrean gave me. I gather his stuff up in a little box. Make sure I bring it over. A little poster of a cat hanging onto a tree branch. Right. <laughs> hanging there. Oh. I think I want off the team too. I don't I don't like this new direction <laughs> under Arc Light. Now there's jets in cars, people talking in the middle of libraries. Right. right. Cats oh. and dogs hanging out. Why can't we go back to the good old days of Saber? I know. The Saber era was so much better than the Arc Light era. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Lots of like a a a. I know. I mean, the arc like saber was the real super. When you didn't have designated seats, yep, yeah, and big yep. comfy recliners in the theaters. Mm-hmm. So much better before the arc light era. That's right. Yep. Yeah, the arc light era is yes. crap. <laughs> Can't wait to go back. Wow. The saber era was the real era. Right. Arc light is just fake. So, so when you get there, you see me going through tomes, books, scrolls. So, anything to bring on this study session? Oh, I oh. hear about you being like thinking that you got kicked off the team. What? I only, I only thought that for about fifteen seconds, and uh, I mentioned it to to Weapon, but but we're good. Um, however, I'm doing this because I. Want to thumb my nose at uh, what's her name? What was her name? I don't know. Which she? Uh, Nisha's Nisha's mom, Maya. Oh, no, um, rupture or something rupture, like that. Yeah. yeah. So I'm trying to find a way of curing Nishi. That would yeah. be impressive. Right, and maybe it's in this library, man. So how do they organize this? How do they organize this? Uh, hey, is uh, Caligos here, Chris? I mean, he should be back. Yep. I ask Caligos to go over how everything is inventoried <laughs> with Arclight uh, while I continue going through it. And then I try to, you know, create a... Uh, it is definitely not the Dewey Decimal way. system. <laughs> it is definitely not the Dewey Decimal, right. It involves the books, the color and the size of the books, compared to their um, what they're about. <laughs> and then in the individual caretaker's belief in the book and how well they think it's... That, how good they think the book is. Oh, dear God. The books are organized <laughs> by their auras. But dear they never God. do them. So it's, you know... Like four caretakers ago might not like this book and they kind of forgot about it. So eventually somebody <laughs> looked at it and goes like, oh, this is a useful book. And they'll oh, wow. move it somewhere else. All right. I open my phone and I get yeah. Vesper out and I tell him to go start categorizing the books because we were going to reorganize this shithole. <laughs> um, oh, 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 stop. Stop. And then we're going to find the book appropriately because it'll be in an order that makes sense. <laughs> hey, hey. Why are you messing with my stuff? Um, I am improving your stuff by putting it in an order in which anyone can find anything of any worth. Yeah, I, now, don't, I don't like this new arc light no. era. Just... I don't think he's way too pushy. I mean, he's pushing new computers on balance. He's pushing his way uh-huh. of organizing my library. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you find That's... the book you're looking for? Yeah, hey, Chris. I'm going through scrolls and books right yes. now, cross-referencing each other. Did you hear him talk about how these are organized? <laughs> Yes, it makes perfect sense to me. How are you going to find anything when they all organize it to their own whims and they forget about books? <coughs> I it's always look for me. the oldest scroll the that I can I'm possibly asking. find and open it. The only thing I ask of you, Arclight, is that you ask before you do it. May I reorganize your, your you know, okay. library so that you may find things? It is Absolutely. A, thank you. It is a scroll of pornography. <laughs> that would be the oldest thing. Yep. It has a very strong aura. <laughs> right. It's a little hard to open. I wouldn't call I, it an aura. I show it, I, I show it to Arclight and I say, This is anatomy. That is a form of anatomy, yes. <laughs> um, it is a scroll of a sex 
um, involving centaurs. <laughs> You're so mean, Chris. <laughs> You're terrible. Um, I I'm very so quickly, poor. I very quickly look away. <laughs> look away. <laughs> Hey, hey. Just, just look away. Just look away. Just, just don't. Now, now we know, now we know the most interest Arclight is not to compare. Is not Arclight is not a furry. Good to know. So um in case anyone needed to know. That, that's why some occasionally the squirrels are lost. Because <laughs> they're useless. Or because someone's checked them out indefinitely. Or 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 mm-hmm. this moved them around. Great. Yep. So yeah, I start helping organize the library because that's insanity the way it's organized right now. <laughs> Be very careful. Some of the books are very old. Uh, I will. I am very careful with everything. I would never cause harm to it. Period. Yeah. I am uh, going to see if KT wants to train. And I assume that I've been talking to Imperian and all then, the time. Um, and so yeah. I think nothing's wrong. Absolutely. <laughs> There doesn't appear to be anything wrong. Um, I you actually, train. you're actually asked to visit the um um the supermax. Okay. Who? Rupture's acting weird, and they're trying to figure out why. I thought that she went to the other dimension. No, we just channeled the energy through her. Oh my. No, I thought, that yeah, was I thought yeah, we she sent was her to another to dimension. Yeah, she's oh yeah, to that, that the was the deal. Yep, that's true. I forgot about that. I thought that she had left. Actually, I forgot that too. We had made that deal. I mean, it's my brother's problem now. <laughs> well, somebody's in her cell. They're gonna get jiggy with it just to uh. Just to throw it back in your face. Mm-hmm. Uh, except my brother would never stick his... Well, I will go, you know, if I'm asked to go. No, no. I actually forgot that part. I'm going to see if KT wants to... There's training. an eclipse. Of the heart? No. Shot of the, the sun. Of the sun. We're not Just suddenly. Just suddenly eclipse. Yes. That was fun. Unexpected eclipse. Is it uh, dating? Are, like, are we expecting an eclipse? No. Is it Everyone something large stop, falling on us? Stomping your feet. Everyone starts stomping your feet and screaming. It'll eventually go away. <laughs> it worked for ancient people. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> hey, now, I go outside and look at the eclipse, Chris. When in dimensional pockets, do as the no, owner, no, no, owners no, don't do. Don't look directly at the eclipse. <laughs> I've special... got to wear your special glasses. As you look at the eclipse, you start to realize it's not really eclipse as much. It's more that there's a hole in the sun sucking it in. Well, hmm. that's a problem. I mean, it could be. Yep. Huh. Seems fine. I tell the team about what's happening. Well, yeah. I'm going to go to the nearest telescope that we can find to investigate. Hey, has okay. this got anything to do with your solar forge? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. Hmm. So, various people and computers focus on the very center. And eventually they realize there is something in the very center. Okay. A large hole? Someone? Nope. Someone. Don't tell me. Oh, oh, oh it's Nishi. God dang it. Right as I'm trying to cure him, too. He uh, could tell. He's like, no. Work now. faster. Work <laughs> faster. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Organize faster. <laughs> I. Tell everyone to get in the Kirby craft because we're going to go to the sun. I've never been to the sun before. We need to do our so, work first. We need to find a way of curing him of this. I mean, we can go stop him, sure, but that doesn't solve the ongoing problem. 
No, but it stops the immediate problem of our sun getting sucked into a black hole. You got a solar forge, you making another one? Is that, isn't that how it's supposed to work? I'm carrying in my pocket, you want to reach in and fish it out? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the light around the world is starting to do in your interesting things. Light becomes dark. It goes infrared. It goes different shades. But various things, and occasionally the darkness becomes so intense that it seems to start opening portals. Yep. I will uh, show up to, um, you know, where Weapon said his ship is. Hmm. I'm going to leave a couple copies behind to uh, help shut portals and show up to the, uh, the and I, and I, and I assume we all have like, you know, like, like survival gear, you know, suits. Why would you have survivor gear? Yeah. I don't know why. Well, we're going to outer space, right? I mean, I I have a winter jacket. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Really, so, like, you were really we'll warm. Fine. So before we jump, okay. So we get there in your ship. Then what are we supposed to do? Look at them. Uh, I have laser blasters. But you can't okay. look at the sun. It's too bright. Exactly. Uh, How will you know where to shoot? You can use your powers from a distance. From a distance. Okay, so we go up there and we stop him, and then how how do we keep ourselves from getting fried when the sun suddenly comes back? Mm-hmm. And how do we die from explosive decompression and all this other fun things? Hmm. It's a fine question. Mm-hmm. So I'm all about stopping him. I'm just saying we should probably think this through before we all jump in a Kirby craft and go over there. Where our only so I'll send a copy to go with this. him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy's disposable. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there. Do we have an environmental suit that's appropriate for space, Chris? I've got duct tape. <laughs> as far as like my family. Um. Yeah. Okay. Your family has everything. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm Imperium gonna go and can probably just use his helmet. I think Imperium will be fine. Um, he could probably just hold his breath, frankly. Um, am I sure what KT's going to do? Be a robot? She's only She's half not robot, a robot is the problem. Smack him. She's only <laughs> half. Right. The other part still needs to breathe and all that. I'll see if we have another suit. I'll we'll stay go that on way. the ground and coordinate. Things, but you all have to call me Houston. Okay, okay. that's fine. That's a guy's that's... name, right? I mean, it's not yes. a place. It's a guy's name. Mm-hmm. There was always just one guy who did all the space missions. It's weird. Oh, it, it is weird, isn't it? Right. But yeah, you can be Houston. That's fine. Balance has TK stuff, so he doesn't have to leave the ship. Mm-hmm. I have blasters on the ship. Also, I'm an alien. That that leaves us with. Can I breathe in option. space, Chris? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't get your powers again. You can breathe in space. Why would you have a ship? Exactly. So I can get places faster. Also, oh, because maybe you couldn't breathe in space. Do I have some kind of a spacesuit, being an alien and all? Seems like at least one would come with the ship. Yeah, with Chris. the ship, you would think. Yeah, the one that adapts with my body. No, strangely, there's only you one that adapts. There's only one that adapts like, to my body. With your <laughs> radical shape shifting, yes, you actually probably are fine. Sweet. Oh, I don't know. Because I can shape shift my body into a spacesuit. <laughs> you hey, can look, remove all your guys. Orifices. <laughs> yeah. I, I, sweet, I climb inside him. <laughs> that uh, that doesn't seem right. Don't climb inside me. <laughs> but you're a spacesuit. <laughs> uh, that just seems wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
I'm, I'm thinking we horrible. might have to put in a uh, adult content warning on the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't even know we were going that way. Yeah, All right, what, what sort of readings are we getting, like, coming from the sun? What is he doing exactly? Uh, tap into space, you know, space command. <laughs> I'm sure we have a branch of that. It so is. Observatory. Nobody knows. <clears throat> It's it's being absorbed. Its light is fading. Okay, yeah, we can't have that. Um, I try to rig up something that will uh, basically, when the sun comes back to full power, allow us like give us enough of a buffer or a shield or some sort of like thermal. Um, Layering like vent that will allow us to just basically ride the thermal waves out and not get fried. I can help with that. So yeah, work on that. So this is in a suicide mission. And I work on converting the clubhouse over to clean burning coal. Never say that again. <laughs> 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 oh, what an idiot. <laughs> so, who's going up in this ship? Well, uh, I don't know. Until I get that thermal vent, so we don't all die when he... Like, when Everybody we but, but KT, I think. Yeah. So, it's Are you coming awkward in the ship. Oh, yeah, I'll go. I have a vested interest. In vacuum? No, I need a suit. Okay, I'll make sure I get him a suit. I don't know. You're a devil. I don't know what they can do. Well, I'm not taking any chances. I breathe, don't I? Uh, do you? While you're in that form? I don't know. Thinking, it's actually, to thinking about it, would you mind changing into that form and just let me do some batteries of tests on you? I'd really like to understand better. Once we're done hey, trying to save Nishi. Well, yeah, later. Obviously, later. Great. Now we started. I need you to promise me something. I am yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I need you to promise me something. I need you to promise you're not going to get into body modification after all this bodily research you're doing. I, I just want to understand how things work. Why is that so bad? He's just jealous of you. He's jealous of our abilities. Well, everyone's jealous of me. I'm amazing. Like, um, I mean, actually, no one is jealous of you except for Arclight, <laughs> which is and, why I prefer and, Saber. And, and your girlfriend. <laughs> I sigh. You're right. So, so we're going. We're going. Okay. You head into space. Katie, why would you not want to go into space? I mean, I want because to Because somebody's got to stay but, behind to hype this up on Twitter. But it seems like you got to have a Houston person. You can't go into space without a Houston person. Why do they call that person Houston? Don't they have a normal name? No, it was, yeah, always, well, it was well, the same well, guy. they're doing it, their name is Houston. <laughs> it was the same guy. He did all the space missions. Yep. He's very famous. <laughs> What's his last name? Houston. That is his last name. <laughs> What's his first name? He has a singular name. It is Houston. <laughs> it's just Houston. It's like Madonna or Prince. Right. <laughs> you don't ask I always thought it was John is. Houston. No, that's the director. And then Sam Houston is right, the grandfather. Right, but did, didn't he direct him in space? <laughs> and the ship goes out. KT, you need to blast us on Twitter. Oh, Rons. yeah, well, of course. I mean, Houston. Hold on, Houston. you guys, you guys can't on leave Twitter. yet. You guys can't leave yet. Ten, <laughs> nine. No, this is my only job. Hold on. Eight. <laughs> Great to sleep in the, in the leaning back position. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Yep. Weapon grows an extra eyeball on the back of his head so he can watch Imperium. Why are you? Well, that's not gross. Yeah. 
That's a little creepy. <laughs> What's creepy? I'm an eye in the back of your head. Why? It is. But why? <laughs> it's what we like in the South like to call not right. Uh. <laughs> but I, I, it's functional. You don't ever and, grow extra limbs and, just because. But not right. <laughs> well, we and, can't. And and Drake is just being quiet because he feels like he's talking to a toddler. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> toddler. Why? Why? <laughs> Okay, I love you. Uh, bye bye. Right. <laughs> okay, lady. <laughs> well, I strap in. I've never been in space. This is awesome. And you're in space. Sweet. Hello. Watch space. things float around the cabin. I asked him to make all the you know walls transparent because I. That's what so, what are you guys doing for like the hours it's going to take to get there? Uh, well, I'm yeah. gonna yeah. taking readings movie, of everything maybe. around ever. Maybe go down to the Starbucks. <laughs> I put it in autopilot and take a nap. I'm floating around the cabin, going, "This is awesome." <laughs> you can do this at... anyway with your TK abilities. This is nothing new. It's not but, the same, but it's still awesome. <laughs> I want to crack a window. No, no. <laughs> um, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> None of us want to be sucked out, said Crack. Matt, we would all die. But, oh well, okay. That is a terrible idea, sir. Drake is right. I know they probably don't teach you about space in your school. (laughs) 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 Wow. Wow. No, no. This is clearly evident. He tried to crack a window (laughs) in space. I mean, they fair. did not tell him. <laughs> I want to hack a space loogie. <laughs> That's hey, not how that works. Uh, hey, hey, obvi- I mean, come on. He's watched Neil deGrasse Tyson. All right. They have those, those welcome to the universe shows that the teacher puts on so they don't have to teach the class. <laughs> I hate that guy. His understanding of space and time is fundamental at best. What, what if we open a hole in the floor so that space doesn't I rush in? I will believe you when you get the PhDs he does, he has. As soon as you have those PhDs, I will believe you. Until know. then, you're just another Amish guy. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I was saying that as weapon, no, that's not what as me. Saying. No, yeah. no. <laughs> but he's Chris took personal offense. <laughs> I know. Chris came swinging. I was like, damn. Don't you tell me that's about Tyson. He's my boy. <laughs> right. Wow. Uh-huh. Damn. Apparently, he's a giant jerk, though. But well, right. yeah, obviously that. <laughs> you said doctor. You said PhD. Uh huh. Which is why I'm I really sec- want to get one. <laughs> is that why you have one, Uncle Jimmy? I can't wait to. Be- <laughs> I mean, is that even a question? <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, he doesn't understand space time at all. I am sitting quietly meditating. In space? Yep. Hours later, you get there. Okay. We need to stop him. Well, I'm entertained for the first ten minutes and I'm incredibly bored. Uh Uh-huh. Space sucks. I'm still fast. Space blows. Thinking that... So, Chris, mm-hmm. OVA, an outside or whatever, what do they call that? Where you spacewalk? I uh, got it. Okay. Got it. EVA. Okay. EVA. As what is taking a nap, I, uh, I believe OVA is shit. original Thank video animation. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was thinking of EVA. For some other reason, I said OVA. I'm sorry. All right, Mark. OVA. While while I'm napping, you what? All right, check out your ship technology that you don't let me touch. I wake up and slap his hand away. <laughs> You're asleep. <laughs> don't have touchy. Well, I, I will. Um, I touch it all while you're sleeping. <laughs> do we have a good visual? 
Chris? Yes. All right. I will go out to the airlock once we arrive. Same here. Okay. I'll chill in my ship for now. There is... There is a lot of radiation. Well, it's the sun. Yes, that's why there's a lot of radiation. Mm, radiation, my favorite. Okay. I get a nice tan. I will. So are we close enough distance where... We I will can... don my at... divine armor. I look at Empyrean. You say... You want to try to reason with him? Um, I think that's an initial option, but, uh, you know, he's devouring the sun, so... He is, but, you know, you guys had a moment, at least. He might be willing to listen. I said that's an initial option, but I don't know that we can afford to wait terribly long. Well, no. Also, have you tasted the sun? It's delicious. I obviously never have. The taste would be your final taste. So it, it was are you delicious. Coming out with so this? delicious. It's like sunlight on your tongue. Uh yeah, I will. I can't pass okay. up a chance to. Uh is your suit have a really strong radiation shielding? It does. Okay. I will make sure it has the radiation shielding that I can handle the sun before I walk out. Oh. If it is not, I will obviously stay in the ship. Hmm. All right. Well, Chris. I go. I don't know who's coming with me, but I go to the airlock. Who is staying in the ship? Me. So you're kind of watching this entire I'm situation. Balance, I think. As people are getting no, close. I'm coming too. Oh, never mind. So it is me. I'm bringing up moat and just going out in my, uh, you know, my hoodie and jeans. No, you're not. You could, <laughs> yeah. This is a terrible idea. There's still so much radiation. I also walk out in the boat. That seems convenient. <laughs> so, uh, it's a horrible idea. Weapon. You're kind of yes. watching the situation. You happen to notice this for a moment. Rune is just kind of sitting there floating, almost completely out of it. At one point, you see a shadow kind of almost looks like somebody looks pretty much like her whispers something in his ear then fades you see his eyes open up and he looks towards you all seems perfectly safe what do you mean you all uh hey guys he knows uh, we're here he raises his hand and a hole appears pretty much between the ship and you guys abort 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 so and you're all me. pulled into the hole. Oh, you didn't abort. Even me? Oh. It was the too ship late, Houston. Ghost gets pulled in. <laughs> the ship gets pulled in too? Yes. Oh, great. So, hey, Matt. Yes? You start to realize you're getting pulled into a black hole. Well, I stopped that. This time you can't. Oh, no. For a moment, you reach out. Your vast psychic powers actually go off. Yeah, but there's nothing to grab onto. Sure there is. I grab onto grab face. Hold, you grab a hold on the um, KT. Well, that could suck. <laughs> um, you grab you her from like <laughs> thousands of miles away? Yes. Wow. Millions. Houston, grab onto something. <laughs> Oh yes, oh, yes. Houston, to our Houston, yeah. Houston, you have a problem. Yeah, right? no shit. <laughs> Katie, you're just sitting there. All of a sudden, you can just feel balance in your head, and um, you start to feel like you're getting ripped apart. I will uh -oh. uh, quickly download him into a There's... thumb drive. Unfortunately, what? anything like that starts to break apart. Your um, your AI makes an executive a decision and teleports you to the ship to balance. You can teleport? I, um, I've actually been able to teleport for many a moon. 
That is cool. All of a sudden, Katie is sitting in front of you in space, getting pulled into a black hole. Hey. Um, sorry hey, about that. You seem to be fine. <laughs> you weren't Chris. supposed to come. I Chris. didn't want to come. Yes. Um, I'm going I to... I have no idea why you're here. <laughs> um, is there a way for me to open up a portal back to my... Um, open up a portal to somewhere safe? Between so that when we're getting pulled in right before we hit that event horizon, we're both sucked into someplace safe. We're never even going to know about the event horizon. Spaghettification. <laughs> well, well, hey, Mark, how long has it been? What's spaghettification? Um, that is when your atoms are stripped away from your body piece by piece, like you're pulling a strand of spaghetti oh, away from a ball of dough. That sounds terrible. It is. Thank God we won't be alive for it. <laughs> no, no, you'll be alive. Well, you for it you realize you're being stretched infinitely uh, long. You realize this ends up being more of a hole than a black hole. Besides, uh, we can talk hmm. to our uh, long dead family members through this. Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah. Hmm. Chris, when? How quickly do we recognize that it's a portal, not a black hole? Because I might do something drastic uh you don't realize it until you're in it okay. when you're not ripped well, apart i'm probably going to do something drastic before then i'm going to use my moment of truth <laughs> because i'm not having us get sucked into a black hole that's just not happening i was just okay. to do that so <laughs> <laughs> like that's just not happening like Let's if i don't mine know too. it's a portal then i'm going to try to use my moment of truth okay and just reach deep inside my power and like, um, since we're sort of opposites, just like begin to undo what he's doing. Okay, describe it. Okay. Um, I reach inside the power of the thousand suns that the solar forge is connected to, and I um, begin to stitch the portal closed and like um, re repair the material that he's torn away from the sun. Okay. Well, he was going to portal us to Disney World and now you've ruined it. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, at least if you're all going to die from a collapsing star, you can do it in Disney mm -hmm. World. Okay. And we will pause for first break there. Okay. <laughs> 